In this video, I want to share with you the photo to video effects tool inside a video tool chest. It's down here to the left and what this tool is about is creating Ken Burns style animations. If you're not familiar with Ken Burns, Ken Burns basically is famous for creating animations. He was doing a, a Civil War documentary as I recall and there was only static images, there was no footage. And so in order to get images or animations, he would basically pan and zoom them. And so we're just basically allowing you to do that here. So I'm selecting a pretty sunset image that I happen to be aware of in my collection. Now I could get started here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and set this position. Here's the full image. Now I want a start position and a stop position, and then I have some settings over here that we'll take a look at in a second. So for the start position, it'll show some instructions here. I'm using my trackpad, I'm zooming down, or I'm swiping down, a two finger swipe on my trackpad to kind of zoom in. It's kind of similar to a wheel, uh, one of those uh, mouse wheels on a PC. And so I'm just gonna set that position, and once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna hit set position. Now I'm gonna do a stop position, I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm swiping up on my trackpad, and I'm just going to the full view. Of course, I can do all kinds of different things. I can zoom, I could have kept zoom in, I could have zoomed to the left, or done all kinds of stuff like that, but I'm just gonna zoom out, because it's such a pretty view. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. Now what I need to do is kind of make some decisions over here. Like the pre-animate pause, I wanna basically set that to a minute or so, or second, pardon me, in order to kind of set you know the tone. I want you to be able to get a sense of what's going on before the animation starts. And then I wanna know how long that animation is gonna be, so it's gonna go from the start to the, the stop position over three seconds. I really don't wanna fade in or fade out, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove those. And then finally, the an, uh, post animation pause. How much? Do, how long do I want it to last? Uh, let's do maybe two. You know, I don't. Know, two seconds is fine. I have some easing options. I can make it speed up or slow down. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at none. And so once I'm happy with it, I hit apply, and you can see that right away it's doing an animation and it's zooming out and so forth. So you get the idea there. And so you know, of course, I could have, like I said, I could have you know zoomed in and maybe started at this position and moved over or something like that. Whatever you want to do. Once you're done and you're happy with your animation, you just export it to MP4 and you can import that into something like Kinetic Text Animator or your favorite video program and then integrate it and composite it. Again, if you're with Kinetic Text Animator, you'll be able to add text animations over your animation. And so it's a great way to create video out of your static images, which are a lot faster and easier to preview than videos out there. So this should be a nice little tool for your arsenal creating videos using Video Tool Chest.